This video is to show you how to install your barn doors easily without marking up your walls. One thing we did prior was we took a piece of masking tape and took it all the way across the wall so that we can mark our studs without writing on the actual wall. And this tape might not be straight, it doesn't really matter, it's just to show the measurements of where all the studs are. So we did that and now we're getting ready to install the rail. Before you get started, make sure you lay out all the parts that came with the kit and also all the tools that you'll need to install your system. You'll need a pencil, you'll need a drill gun and a pilot bit, a level, you can use a torpedo level if you desire, you'll need a stud finder, a tape measure, and a ratchet. In this case, we're going to be using our wall guide. There's also a couple other options we have. You can use a T guide that floats in the bottom of a groove on the bottom of the door or our U guide. You'll also need a ladder and for a second person to help hold up the rail if you have that option would be a stool or another ladder. Next you're going to want to take a measurement of your actual door so that you can figure out where the bottom of the rail needs to be. If there's carpet in the room that you're going to be installing your barn door, we recommend putting a piece of wood down in order to get a better accurate measurement. In a normal case scenario, we recommend at least a half inch gap between the floor and the bottom of the door. So we're setting the tape measure on the plywood so that we can get an accurate measurement. We start on one end of the rail and mounted our first hole and also installed our stops. Then we took our level and made sure it was level and we installed our far side old hole. Now we're going down the line and we are going to pilot drill each hole and then once they're pilot drilled we're going to remove our tape from the wall and then we'll mount our spacers with the flange towards the drywall so it doesn't smash the drywall. So the flange side towards the wall. When removing the tape, don't pull out because it can pull the paint off the wall. Pull it in a slight angle. Once you've got all of your holes drilled and your bolts in, now you can go back and make sure they're all snug. Slide the stop in towards the wheel. Some of our stops actually sandwich over it so you can actually put it wherever you want, but this particular one has to slide over. So we're gonna get it right where we want it. And then reinstall the spacer and the bolt. In this particular install, we decided to run the rail the whole length of the wall because we thought it would look better. But in your case, you may ask us to custom cut your rail to length, which you may want us to cut it shorter so that it doesn't go the whole length of the wall and it's closer to the stop. Now that we know where we want the stop so that the doors will stop where we want them, we're gonna move the doors out of the way. With the provided Allen wrench, we're gonna go ahead and tighten the Allen screws. 
What we've installed today is our composite wheel system. One thing you'll notice about our composite wheel system compared to our steel wheels is it'll be a lot quieter and smoother of a roll. We do offer steel wheels. However, the steel wheels are going to be a little bit uh, louder and maybe have a little bit more clunkier sound on the actual rail. The only time you really need the steel wheel system is if you have a super heavy door or you just absolutely want steel wheels. But our composite wheels will hold up to over 200 pounds. This particular wall guide gives you two options. You could either use the wheel or you can use our rolling pin. On this particular project, we're going to use the wheel plus the provided felt. So what you want to do is mark where you're going to put it, press it to the ground, make your pilot hole. Install your screws. You don't want this actually touching the door. Just give it enough space to where if the door needs to hit it, it can. So we're just going to let the door hang level. We've already put the level on it and where it lands level is pretty good. Then you're going to get a wrench and tighten this down. And now we've put our felts on and loosened the wheel so it spins freely. When we installed our top mount hanger system, we left a half inch between the bottom of the hanger and the edge of the door. Keep in mind where you place that will decide how fast it hits the stops. So the closer to this, the outside edge of the door, the quicker it will hit the stop. Farther in you go, it'll, hit, it'll take longer to hit the stops. So for instance, on the other style, where there's the J style that would go here, you typically want to keep it in the middle of the door if you can, but keep in mind, if you move it towards the edge, it's going to hit the stops a lot quicker. So if you don't want it to hit the stops quicker, move it inward. Okay. Another trick to do also after installing it is if in case you have any little marks or anything from the ratchet, you can always take a little marker or sharpie and just kind of touch up any of those spots. You'll never see them. Our composite wheels run super smooth and super quiet. And there you have it, a successful and easy installation of an inspired American door system.